The ghost of Robert Louis Stevenson resides at a house once owned by the great man in Harriet Row, Edinburgh, Scotland, from 1857 to 1880. It is most likely that the ghost inhabiting the house is the ghost of Robert Louis Stevenson. The house has been maintained much the same as when Stevenson lived there, except for electricity. In particular, there in a chair by a window, which Stevenson is said to have sat in when resting from his literary work. The house is still in use and occupied to this very day, and has been occupied most of the time since Stevenson lived there. It has always been occupied since his death by the ghost of Stevenson. The house was visited by a medium on May 4th, 1973, and as she walked in, she reported a definite chill down her back as if she had been touched by unseen hands, and it was a very gentle kind of touch without a hint of malevolence. Although Stevenson ended his days in Velina, Samoa in the South Seas, where an apparition of he was seen, and this apparition was also reported to have been seen in the master bedroom of the house in Scotland. When Stevenson's father died, his mother went to Samoa to live with him and took furniture with her. After he died, she returned to Edinburgh with the furniture. It is a thought by some involved in the paranormal that a spirit may attach itself to inanimate objects such as furniture. Robert Louis Stevenson's wife also took furniture and returned to St. Helena, California, where she lived out her days. The present day owner, Mrs. McPhee, enjoyed the thought that Stevenson was still present at the house and much for that reason she had turned part of the house into a private museum so that people could pay homage to the place where Stevenson lived and did much of his work. The medium stated she sensed that there is a person connected with the house wearing a rather dark coat and a light colored or white shirtwaist type of thing with small tie. She also stated the spirit has rather dark eyes and his hair is brushed down. He has bushy eyebrows and seemed rather pale and agitated and at the moment a viewing was tearing up a letter. It would seem that the spirit of Robert Louis Stevenson indeed still inhabits a house where he grows up. Thank you so very much.